Got him? Got him, got him. Got him. He, it was just on the surface. I got him. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I still got him. What is it? I don't know. Pike. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a big one. It's a pike. Oh, man. You want me to get him? Oh, don't don't swing him because he's got it right in his mouth. It just attacked it on the surface. He T-boned your bait. He did. Is he even hooked or is he just holding on to it? Oh yeah, he's hooked. Okay, let's You wanna grab me the pliers down there? Yeah. Where are the pliers, Hank? Uh, oh I got it, I got it. Got it. There you go. Jack, what do you call this guy? Um, I don't know, we're going to 3D printed Rapala. Or... Just your jerk bait? Yeah. 3D printed! He did this on a printer. Catching pike. Here, you wanna hold him or no? Sure. Got him? Yeah. Hold him up. And don't look like That's a good. Mask. All right, everyone, we idea. are out here. Toss him back, slimy pike. We are out here on a Kill little him. family vacation. Hank. We've got Jack, we've got Hank. Jack is my nephew. He is up from, where do you live? Marietta. Georgia. Georgia. Yep. Did you get lost? How'd you get lost to get all the way up here? We took a couple wrong turns. Yeah, so uh, we've we've got kind of like a little family reunion going on uh, up in the Hayward, Wisconsin area where we are at my parents' cabin. We've got uh, my two brothers and their families up along with my parents. So we've got a crowded household, but we're having a good fun time. And uh, Jack is a 3D printing genius and he makes fishing lures. I've talked about him on the channel a little bit before. So we're out trying a bunch of different ones. We've got, uh, I've got a five and a quarter inch jerk bait. What size are you throwing? I guess it's three. Here three we three compare them. or something. Three and a half. That's probably like a three and a half, four yeah. incher. Hank, what do you got on? You've got an inline spinner. It's a totally unique spinner. When he brings that in, we'll show it off. Well, we made it. Here, let's we see it, Hank. It. You got a little weed on it. So this is a inline spinner. Totally unique, totally different. He makes buzz baits with the same kind of style to it. What do you, you've got uh, frogs, you got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So we're out just fishing around to see if we can catch a few fish on his baits. So let's see, uh, that was a good start. Yeah. Nice little pike. All right. Keep having big blue eels following. I mean, they're, they're Ooh, going. Another? There's another. Pikeroo. Yep. I wish we were fishing the pike tournament right now. We'd be doing pretty good. Okay, little, right. little two. piker. Pikeroo. Not what we're after, but it's proven the baits are working. Equations, or are you doing that through like uh, just like drawing a picture? It's, like it's more like drawing a picture. There's like some more complicated stuff. There's a thing called a sketch, and that you can like draw out complicated design, straight lines, like rounded lines kind of thing. And then from there, you extrude it so it has to be a curved off shape. You can bring it up like. Oh God! Uh, what do I got? I, I saw Dude, it hit. this is I, big. I saw it hit. I think it's a northern. Oh! Oh no! I saw it hit. What was? Dude, that was a big bass. Oh, that would have been the cast of the video. Oh man! Have you been catching some bigger ones in your pond? Like, are they getting bigger still? So it's interesting. So the pond froze over probably about three years ago. It did? It 
was like people were, were walking on it. Now it was not safe to walk on. I guarantee it. But they were doing it. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, look at this guy. Is that a pike? I didn't think I had. That's a muskie. <gasps> I got a muskie. You get a muskie. I got a muskie. It's my first muskie. Hold on. Nice I need that's, a... that's going crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need on. a picture. I know it's small, but this is my first muskie. Oh, that's amazing. That is a, a muskie. little tiny baby stock muskie. muskie. You want to grab me the pliers? Yes. Let's measure that guy. No, Hank, we're not going to measure. <laughs> I actually did it. The fish of a thousand casts. I well, then I might end it. Your first muskie, Jack. Yes, that's amazing. You, 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 you All right, he is he is really slimy right now. Is he really? Yeah. You you want to measure him? No, it's okay. All on camera. Here, I would put put a put a hand right behind him. That's pretty cool. Here, let's we we got to get the we got to get the bars. You got to move this hand a little bit. There you oh, go. Okay. Look at that. There we go. First muskie. We're putting oh, them yeah. on them. Solid 13 incher. Yeah. All right. Let's get him back. They're they're fragile little bee creatures. Wow. See ya. Good release. Grandpa's gonna like that. Solid. Man, my first muskie. God, I just I just lure. I just put you on a big time muskie pattern right here. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is amazing. That was my goal. One of mine to catch a muskie. Now I thought it'd be on the muskie bait, but that works. Yeah. So one other thing to point out with this 3D printing, and I'll cut in a little section here. Jack's making trolling motors. Yeah, pretty much most of it is all 3D printed. 3D printed trolling motors for his <laughs> kayak. It's pretty ridiculous what he's doing with these. I just figured I'd have to throw this in there to uh yeah it's crazy it's the future all right jack bring that box up here let's see what you've got so this is some of the stuff he brought with him and he's printed off so i mean we've got like a big musky bait this thing is pretty cool in the water you've got some frogs you've got a bunch of buzz baits all different things and correct me if i'm wrong it's all different material right so you've got some yeah. that are like buoyancy like float some sink some of them you you put more material in it and then that makes them sink some of them you leave space in it which makes them float yeah so they're all different variations uh you've been selling them on etsy yeah on right etsy. Mm -hmm. so i'll put a link if you guys want to support a young man's endeavor to make 3d printed fishing lures a bunch of different things Hank, uh, Hank, today back here, you've caught two on your little inline spinner. First two casts, you used that thing. Yesterday. Yeah, you caught a, a bass, you caught a big perch. I didn't have the camera running. Uh, well, it did, just on camera. Yeah, I, I, thanks Hank. <laughs> I screwed up. I didn't have the video running. I had the camera on. I thought we were collecting data. Uh, Jack has been catching them good. They really have very good motion. Grab yours, yeah. Jack. Let's show them the motion of the one you've been catching them on. Uh, and they're very durable. The thing is, I thought we were gonna be breaking them left and right, and these stupid things are really durable. I'm, I honestly feel like this is gonna be a good, uh, like, part of the future of fishing lures. I mean, it's, just pull it by the camera. Hopefully yeah. we can see it. I mean, I, I'd, Keep her moving, as we like to say in Wisconsin. I mean, it's just, it's the exact same thing as your standard Rapala or, uh, you know, Smithwick, whatever stick bait you like to use. Mine's the same way. The, I don't know, Hank's got his thrown out here. Hank, why don't we fix this? I'll do a little trick for you guys. Hopefully I can get it done here. You loosen her way up. And just pull that nest all the way back through. Let the wind take that line. I've done videos on this, Hank. There we go. Tighten her back up.
Right on cue, Hank. You did that good. You let me show off a little trick that works wonders. And since I've got it, I'll show Hank's. Yeah, here, Hank. Just bring it by the screen. So let's just show it quick. So Hank, Hank is just using this little inline spinner that looks really cool in the water. Completely different than anything else. Just pull it by. Let's hopefully we can see that spinning. It spins extremely easy. I mean, right on cue with an inline spinner, catching fish. We do have to head in for lunch, but we've got yeah. what? A muskie, yeah. two, two pike. I jumped off a nice bass. We were fishing them the other night, catching bass, catching pike, catching everything on it. Uh, pretty cool. Held up well. Yeah, all just printed in one piece, yeah. right? Just completely just let the printer go overnight and you wake up in the morning with a new fishing lure. Very cool. That's how it goes. Okay, well we're gonna make a few more casts and then we're gonna head in for lunch. But guys, I appreciate all you watching. A little something different, but I love tinkering with baits. And I do feel like 3D printing is gonna be like something we see quite a bit in the future. Now this thing is extremely durable. They've held up great. Uh, it's all comes down to the material again. Some of the material is hard, some of the material is soft. Jack knows all about that. I don't know anything about that, uh, but it's been fun using them. So we are gonna head out. I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the support. Like and subscribe if you have not already. And uh, stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow. Your baits hold up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Big bass. Get him! Get him! What do you got? Oh, he's got him. It's a bit. It's a bass. Yeah. I thought it was stuck. That. Your oh, drag a, drag is a little loose, I that's think. A, oh, that no, it's huge. Is it's, it? Yeah, it, it's huge. This might. Oh, this is huge. No, it's like oh. really big. This thing is huge. Oh yeah, that's a this big, is a big one. one. Hold on, Hank. I gotta tighten here, bring, your drag a little. Oh, this thing is huge. Oh. Don't lose him. That is a nice bass. He's in those pads. He's cutting through them. Hold on, Hank. Hold on. He's still there. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to pull the power poles up. Oh, you think he just got off. I think I saw him swim this way. I'm pretty sure he just got off. But hold on. Keep pressure on it, Hank. He's off. Oh, that was maybe 20 inches. That was a big one. I think I I know. I saw him, too. He's off. God dang it. We can put that in the video though. No, I'm losing it first. We pulled up to do to let Hank make one cast or two casts under the bridge with the little inline spinner. Yeah, almost had one. We almost had. So Excuse you guys, you guys it's my screw up because when we were doing the little end video, we're on way on our way back to the cabin. Hank had that line twist. I didn't tighten his drag all the way back up and that four pounder just got us tied up in the lily pads. So I'll take the blame for that. I should have tightened the drag all the way back up to where it should have been. We were so close. So close. But look, we Almost. shot him. Okay, now we're going back.